Hey guys, I'm Sean Cheek of WebPianoTeacher.com. Today I'm going to teach you how to play All Out of Love by Air Supply. Let's take a listen. <laughs> guys, webpianoteacher.com. Welcome, where we gather together to learn, play, and share the music that we love, creating a culture of encouragement for all you guys out there who are trying to learn to play piano online. You can do it if you pick the right lessons and you know how to practice. That's what I'm here for. Let's get to it here. All right, so this is Air Supply All Out of Love, and what I have on here, you probably heard it's not a piano sound. For those of you who have electric pianos, in the studio, we have a Kawaii MP11SE, and to create that acoustic electric sound, you know when you have an acoustic guitar and you plug it in and put some chorus on it, some effect? Well, on your, your electric pianos, especially on this Kawaii here, if you choose a clavichord sound, you probably don't even know what a clavichord is. It's an old instrument, but if you put a little uh, reverb on it, a little chorus on it, it sounds like an acoustic electric guitar, just like it, I think. So... <laughs> That's, well, well hey, let me get back to it here. That's what we were using. See that? It really fulfills that role, I think. So if you have one of these MP, MP11s at home, it's the uh, the setup over here on the side, the, the, the bank list. If you use bank A number 7, the clavichord uh, mix, it sounds really cool. I'm going to use the piano sound for this lesson, though, because a lot of us have acoustic pianos, just so we're all on the same page here. So going back to the piano sound as we get to the board. All right, each measure is a chord, okay? And if you are a member of webpianoteacher.com, I would recommend downloading the sheets for this. It's very helpful, all right? So <clears throat> each measure is a chord. We're going to learn the first uh, four measures in this introduction, in this part one lesson. Of course, all the lessons are on webpianoteacher.com, but uh, we'll learn the first four here in this part one. So I want to get your fingers in position for each chord, okay? Because we have uh, four chords that we're going to use. First is a C chord, all right? So if we put a C and an E in the left hand, this will be a little bit different uh, probably than what you're used to for piano accompaniments because it is on a guitar. There's actually two guitars playing, and I mixed them together, okay? So we'll do C, E on the left hand. The right hand will have G an E, and then later on a middle C. So if you look at that, get all those notes pressed down. Finger four and two in the left hand, one, two, four in the right. You have a C chord. I'm just going to play through those. C, E, G, E, G, C, G. Okay, that's a C chord. At the very end, we have A and D together. All right, I'm just going to play that with the left hand. It's going to be easier. If you want your right hand to come down to help out, you can do that, but I'm going to play with my left hand. It's A and D, just leading us into the next measure. Okay? So that first measure again. All right? Going into the second one. So you want to hold the pedal down on that because the electric guitar is just picking those strings and letting them ring. So we want to let our strings ring too. Okay, so work on that first measure. And if you're familiar with my style of learning, I always suggest small parts, right? Learn one measure. Don't go to the second measure until you can play the first one successfully. It doesn't have to be really fast. You don't have to have it memorized, but be able to get through it pretty confidently before you go to the second measure, okay? So once you have the first measure down, we're going to learn the second one. When we get the second one down, we're going to attach them to each other and play the first measure and the second measure, okay, as a group, as we let that chain grow, all right? So back to the board. The second measure is going to be a G chord. The first measure was a C chord. Those little notes, just disregard for now. We'll use those for the repeat. This first time, we're just going to play the big letters. All right, so left hand B, D. I'm going to use 2, 4 again for me. You don't have to use what I'm using, but I have to tell you what I'm using in case you want to copy that. Right hand D and G, and then a lower G on the thumb. Get all those notes pressed down, and then I can play the second measure. One, two, and three, and four, and. 
again. I can use one pedal for all of that, one chord. Now I'm going to uh, uh, tie them together, okay? So let's start at the beginning and do two measures and go. All right, very good. Now the next measure is an F chord. And we're going to do A on the bottom and then an F on the left hand. Then the right hand has an A right below the middle C and an F higher and then a middle C. What I'm doing is I'm kind of scanning through and looking at all the notes that are in the measure since it's a chord and just pressing them all at once. So let my fingers feel what I'm going to do and then I play it. One, two, and three, and four, and very end you hear an E and you think, what's that E doing there? That sounds out of place. Well, if you keep going, you hear it, it goes E, F. The E is just a lead in to the F chord in the next measure. Bum, bum. It's not really part of this chord. It's just a lead in, a little melody bass line. Lead us to the F chord there. All right, so let's try this measure. One, two, and three, and four, and. Okay, and I didn't play any of the little notes. We'll do those on the second time through. All right, so the second, or the last measure here, has two chords in it, okay? Each measure before had one chord apiece. Now we're gonna have two chords in this one. First one's F, C. The right hand's gonna have F, A, C. So it's one, A, two, and, again. I wanna change my pedal here because the chord changes to a G chord. So it's G, and then right hand F, and then A and B with two and three, and then a C with my fourth finger. That A and B might sound a little weird to you. Kind of like that E might sound weird to you at first. But if you keep going, it sounds beautiful. It's just the way the two guitars mix right there. And then we go back and we repeat. But let's try that last measure. One, and two, and pedal. Okay. Now, we're going to try all four measures. Now, working on this at home may take you a week. You may have... One measure that you work on per day, and by the end of the week, you can play the whole thing. That's fine. I'm doing a lot here in this part one lesson. Uh, and, you know, this is a part one lesson. We will have all the lessons are on webpianoteacher.com right now, so you can learn the whole thing. But stick with this, this uh, template here of learning a little bit at a time. Most people get discouraged and quit, not because they're not good or they can't do it. It's because they try too, too much at one time. They try things that are too difficult. So um, make sure you try a little bit and stay within your skill level, okay? So now let's get back to the board. We'll try all four measures now. All right, here we go. Ready and go. One, two, three. And the second time through we've been talking about, because it's two times, we'll substitute the little letters. So I'll do C, D. I'll do a G instead of a C, and then I'll add a D in my right hand, and I'll play an F instead of that A, and I'll play a G on the left hand instead of the E. So that time it goes G, F, it leads down, G, B, G that last time instead of this, substitute. So both times through would sound like this. second time. All right. Guys, I hope you enjoyed that part one lesson, and I'll see you on webpianoteacher.com, and we'll finish the whole thing. Talk to you later.